We're going to look at collections now, and we're in 13.9, Piles of Cards. This is going to be different enough that I don't want to just keep reusing Public Static Void Main. I'm going to build a second Public Static Void Main. Now, if I just duplicate it, I'm going to have a problem because you can't have two methods with the same name and the same parameters. So I'm going to call the other one main old, and this is the one I want to run. And let's just test it out. I'm going to make sure that this is the method that's actually running. Hopefully I'll see hey, and that's it. Perfect, right there. Okay. So now we're going to get started. We're going to look at a collection. Now, we sort of had a collection with deck. What we had was an array filled with cards. The bad news about an array is it has a fixed size. So when you create the array, you have to decide how big it is. When it's non-primitives, meaning it's basically not numbers, uh, the default values that get filled in are nulls. And we are going to use a different type of collection than an array. So instead of redoing deck.java, we're going to build another class. So click on the package. For us, is, for me, it's package uh, chapter 13. Right click new Java class. This is going to be called pile. And finish. That should give me a blank. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. This we're looking at right here, public class pile. We already have that code, public class pile. Inside of that class, we're going to have a field and a method. So right away we have a problem. Let's see if we can fix this. And we need to import the array list library. And it's right there. Uh, Okay, what's actually happening here? So instead of having a array of cards, this is similar, but it's called an array list. The type is card, and the syntax looks very different than building an array of cards. So again, this is the type, and you have to declare what objects you're going to be putting in to the array list and it uses diamond brackets right here um, and this is a collection and this collection you could put any type of object you want in there we're going to put cards in and call it cards and all we do here this is the constructor and how do i know that because the name matches the class and also it's public and there's no return type so that's what makes it a constructor let's label that constructor so what are we doing here well there's one variable one field and we're setting it to be a new array list now when you make a new array list it's created with zero elements so it exists, but there's no actual elements inside of it. So you could not access the elements in it because there is none yet. Uh, you're going to see that it uses an index. Uh, but if you have nothing inside of it, it's an empty array list. So there's not even a zero element yet. So now we're going to write, well, we're just going to duplicate this pop card method. And what does this do? Well, right away, it's public, so you can call it from outside of the pile class. It's going to return a card, and it's called pop card. And what it's going to return is the cards array list has a method called remove. And it's going to remove that from the array list and return it. So it's going to actually make the array list shorter. And let's go ahead and write our Java doc here. Removes the top card. 
return the removed card. Okay, so now we have pop card. Here's the inverse of removing is adding. And let's write our Java doc here. I want to make sure it matches what I wrote here. It removes a top card, adds a card to the bottom. Or I should say this is the card to add. To add, okay. So we have a way to pop and add. Uh, if you're wondering where this word pop comes from, it comes from a stack. Uh, which technically we're making a queue. Yeah, I forget if that's for a queue or a stack. But anyways, this comes from, uh, I believe that's from a stack, uh, which we'll cover later uh, in a future class. So we have another method is empty. And all this method is going to do, we can read it right here. The array list has a method called is empty. And you can see anything, any of the public methods. So we haven't used an array list before. So let's go ahead and do this.cards, which is the array list. And when I hit period again, this gives me all the public methods of the array int list. And what we've used before, it's folded right here, but somewhere on line 36 or 37, we did the add method. There's a second add where you can specify the index so specify the in the position you want to add the card. Uh, and if you read down into the box below, inserts a specified element at the specified position in this list, shifts the element currently at that position, if any, and any subsequent elements to the right. So we haven't really looked at shifting elements in an array, but just think if you have an array filled up with, let's say 10 cards and you add something at position five, you'd either overwrite what was at index five, or you could move everything one to the right and then insert in that empty position there. Uh, and this just tells us that it's gonna shift everything to the right and then add at the position. You can add an entire collection, you can remove everything in there, et cetera, et cetera. Here's the is empty. Um, there's a whole lot of other ones. Size may be important later. So this is the all the methods you can uh, get, you could turn it into an array, uh, but that's everything you can, every method for the array list. Okay, and now we are going to, and all these, these are called wrapper methods because basically all we're doing is, this is empty, all we're doing is returning the is empty uh, method in the cards. The reason you can't just call the cards dot is empty from outside is because cards again is private. We don't necessarily want to let uh, other people modify the actual cards here. If they, if we want to get a card, we use the pop. If we want to add a card, we use the add card method, and we can use the is empty. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in a size here. So that is gonna return an integer. I believe it was just called size. Return this dot cards dot. Now, why are these at the top? Because these are the ones that return integers. So they're the ones that would make sense here. And we wanna just return size. Okay, so now we can get the size, which means how many cards are currently in the pile. Okay, that should get us started, except now we want to go and, what are we doing here? Add deck. So we'll throw that in as well. So this gets all the cards in a deck. This is basically how to convert, a, how to take a deck and then turn it into a pile, add one card at a time to the current pile of cards. 
Um, now, there's two ways to accomplish this ad right here. One way would be the way it's done right here, but remember we also have an add card method. So we can directly call that. And the syntax would look just like that. Either of these is just fine. Uh, they're both okay. I generally would recommend use your add card method and try to minimize the number of times you actually access cards. So if we look at the add card, we called that exact this.cards.addCard. Later on, we may want to do something like uh, add an integer that might represent the total value of the cards in your hand. And anytime you added or removed a card, we may want to modify that value. And if you if you just call this.cards.add here, you'd then have to add in the additional code to update any other variables you have. But if I always just use the add card method, then anything I did to the add, any additional logic I wanted to put in here, I wouldn't have to duplicate it in other places where I'm actually adding cards. Okay, so I think this is all we need for pile. Looks like we have no errors, so that's great.